Let me tell you something important real quick. Sometimes you plan a look in your head and it doesn't turn out as you expected. Hello guys, welcome back once again. I am Judy. If you're new here, please don't make it your last. Click the subscribe button and be part of this family. And if you're returning subscriber, thank you for joining me today. So in today's video, I'm going to be creating this amazing look on my model while giving you guys a background story of what look I actually plan in my head i know your attention is going to be divided listening to this interesting and funny story while trying to learn makeup i know right but just keep it together stay focused guys so in the today's video i actually got a model i plan to have like a very nude look yeah nude but kind of yellow on the eyes i'm not going to show you guys a picture of an inspiration because there is no picture inspiration i just planned this look in my head i have this expectation i think that was my fault because i kind of give myself like a very high target or i kind of expected too much i always expect a lot from myself i always don't expect anything less but this look, I planned it to be like very nude with like a shade of orange and also a little shade of yellow. But I really don't know what happened by creating this look. Maybe that was because there was no time. There was a lot of time, but the time was kind of divided for other things. I had this model. I already planned this shoot and the model already came while one of my clients called to book an appointment and I couldn't turn my clients down because this is like a regular client and I can't say no there are some people I just can't say no to so I was rushing this look and rushing this look and I just wanted it to have that perfect expectation I have in my head that thing I planned but I don't know as i was doing this makeup the skin work was coming together of course my skin work always give the skin work was coming together everything was turning out nice while i was expecting my clients and trying to you know make everything work the concealer i used in this video i used the noban beauty concealer i love the noban beauty concealer because it has a very good coverage and i love how smooth it blends out on the skin so I'm just basically blending that out and making sure it's well blended and that's the hairstylist fixing the hair because we are working together the clients we have after the model we have the client together like the clients I have the clients I was expecting after this shoot we're going to do it together so we're just you know trying to work together and make you work so I'm basically contouring the nose with my concealer from Nuban Beauty so guys as I was doing the skin work everything was coming together as you can see in this video it turned out really beautiful and here is me trying to blend out everything together the concealer the contour the blush and make sure there is no demarcation blend it under the eyes because i want to set it of course before you place anything under the eyes make sure you set it first so everything was coming together i was really happy and excited because the skin work turned out exactly as i imagined in my head so in my head, I was like, okay, everything is going to turn out perfectly well. But I didn't know what was coming for me. Guys, this should be like, not just a story to you. You should also note that it happens to everybody. When you plan a look in your head and it doesn't turn out the way you expected, you don't beat yourself. A lot of people do that thing. They feel like, okay, I did something wrong or I just can't get it. It doesn't work this makeup journey or everything generally is you know practice makes improvement because there is no perfection practice makes improvement so once you plan a look in your head and it doesn't turn out the way expected don't beat yourself it's normal some days it happens and some days it just you know works but on this day I just don't know what happened I just had like a very high expectation no picture inspiration no nothing i just woke up one day i said okay i want to create this look i want to have like a very simple skin finish of course all my looks has like a very well blended skin like finish that's my makeup style you know but this look i just wanted 
it to have like a very si just simple generally all over the skin simple on the skin on the eyes on the brows everything simple so this is me blending with a powder making sure everything is well blended and now guys this is when everything decided to turn against me it's time to do the eyes i don't know what happened at this point but i did my brows first and i am just blending the um, beginning part of the nose with a dark shade of powder and uh, on her eyelid i didn't use an eyeshadow primer i used like a dark shade of concealer the same one i used to contour the bridge of the nose and now i'm placing the orange like i said earlier i said i wanted it to have like a little shade of orange and yellow and this is me placing the yellow on top of the orange and my lights are fluctuating everything was just against me on this day my lights are fluctuating but i didn't pay attention to the light i didn't even notice the light was fluctuating so i didn't pay attention to it and this is me placing the yellow on top of it and guys it was looking like it but in my head i knew that okay this is not it but this is turning out nice but this is not what judith planned to do and why is this thing happening to me while everything was going on i was still making sure i blend i blend i blend like my life depends on it because no matter how it turns out if it's not well blended that's two zero right because this look is already winning me like one zero so if i let it come out not blended that's like two zero and i'm not about to let that happen so it just turned out the way it turned out i wasn't feeling it it was beautiful but i wasn't feeling it because i already had this expectation of oh very simple clean nude glam but i don't know how it happened i don't know how i was even expecting to have like a very simple clean nude glam with orange and yellow and this is me just placing like a yellow pigment on top of the eyes to know if it's going to give me what i have in my head but it still wasn't giving me what i have in my head but this was really turning out really nice and i was loving it but you know i already had like an expectation and this is me lining the waterline with the shade of from one um inglots eyeliner it's like an ash shade like a gray shade not really black and that's what i had in mind and that's the one thing that just turned out the way i wanted and this my light i don't know what i did to this light on this day but this has never happened to me so i don't know what happened on this day but i just you know i have to move forward and this is me lining her lash line and i'm giving it a wing for a very long time i've not done like a wing but this is me just giving it a wing because that's what i have in mind you know and i was still trying to achieve it even though it wasn't like giving me what i wanted to give but i was still trying to achieve it i was not giving up on the look because the look was still given and using my mascara from wing beauty my all-time fave if you are part of this family you will know that i don't do any makeup without my wing beauty mascara and this is me using the lashes on the lash line you know place it there and i was still trying to achieve what i have in my head using like a very small lashes because i just wanted to have like a very small lashes of course i always use like small lashes i don't do the whole plenty plenty look but this lashes was given and i'm using my newborn beauty setting spray to spray it and at this point it was looking like okay this is looking like what it is and this is me using my lash pack to fan it because that mini fan i just feel like it doesn't do the job for me it does the job but not as much as my lash pack my lash pack gives me all the air i need because i need that setting spray to dry into her skin so going ahead to do her lip i'm lining with my brown from my eye magic lip palette making sure it's well lined and well blended and i went ahead with, into it with my pink and um two very, two very light shade of pink from the palette and this look this lip wasn't what I planned, guys. I don't know how I planned like a very new lip and I was going into the lip with a pink. Something was definitely wrong, but I don't know. Or everything was just against me on that day. Everything was just against me, but 
I just kept on going and trust me this lip turned out really nice it's beautiful and I went ahead with my classic lip gloss on the lips because as a gloss girl I always gloss the lip so this lip turning out really nice I love it it looks really beautiful even though I was going for like a very nude head tone lip but I knew I was not going to achieve that going in with the pink how was I going to achieve that in the first place? So using my Tequila Cosmetics Blush Stroke Highlighter Palette to highlight her cheekbone, taking the excesses to her brows, doing the same thing on the other side. And I'm just basically like dusting excesses on the high point of her face just to give me like a little bit of glow. And on the bridge of her nose, I applied just on the ball of her nose and took the excesses to the bridge of her nose. This is my Mismetic Cheek Glaze Wet Balm in flushed this is my favorite shade i got all the shades but this is my favorite shade since the day i laid my hand on this i have been taught i have been hooked this shade is really beautiful so i applied that on her cheek and took like the excesses all over her face because i still want like a little bit of glue on that area this is maybe just blending and blending and blending so i use tones on the eyes I used a yellow stone that was not the plan I wanted to use a silver stone I couldn't find a silver stone so I used a yellow stone guys I know I know I know you guys be wondering well what's what's wrong what's wrong how do you even expect to have that look you planned out when you're not doing it right but I don't know so this is my classic lash glue I'm using it as a glue for the stone and this is the pattern I want to apply the stone so I just don't want to have that regular pattern that's like after the liner just like three stones after the liner I just wanted it like a little bit like spread it you know a little bit and when doing this make sure you you know take it easy you don't want to mess her face up with the glue so I'm picking the stone with my tweezers and placing that on the part where I apply the glue, I let the glue clear before taking the stones. If you don't let the glue clear and become transparent, it's not going to hold the stone, it's going to be falling off. So once you apply that, let the glue clear and apply your stone. But this yellow stone is given. It's look it looks nice on the skin. The makeup, everything together, it's it's given, it's beautiful. It's simple, it's classy, like what I wanted. But guys, I still have what I planned in my head. I still have it in my head. Like, this is just not what I planned. Everything was just against me. My lights, my products. I feel like when I want to pick like an head tone product, somehow my brush, my brush is just moved to something else. I don't know. I really, really don't know, but I love this makeup. This makeup is beautiful. And my model carried this makeup with grace. She carried this look. So this is me increasing the volume of her lower lashes with my Nuban. Did I say Nuban Beauty? My Wink Beauty Mascara. That was a mistake. And guys, this is the finished look. This look is given the color of the hair, the tone of this makeup on her skin. The model carrying this look, this is so beautiful. So guys, let me know what you think about this video, about this makeup and my unorganized story because this story is really unorganized, I know. Give this video a very big thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel if you're yet to. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye for now.